Hi, this is Bob from Wham's Tech, and today we're going to continue with our Gamify Your Glide app. This is part four, badges and leaderboards. And we're going to start with badges because everybody loves a good badge. And so let's get to it. Uh, we're going to start in our sheet again, and we are going to create here a new sheet called badges. And here we're going to list out all the badges we want our users to earn. Let's see, we need a badge number. This is gonna be important for us because this is, this is also what's gonna link uh, the badges that people have earned with the actual badge itself. So badge number, the badge name. We need the badge description. Um, and the badge image. Now, if you also want to give your users some points every time they earn a badge, you can do that too. You can do like badge value. Um, and then we can have a roll up column in our profile. It's gonna search for this, but um, I'm actually not going to do that in this tutorial. So the badge itself is the award. In this tutorial, we're going to do three badges. We're gonna have a first challenge badge, a fifth challenge badge, and a 10th challenge badge. And I can never spell challenge right, there we go. And these badge numbers are gonna have badge one through badge three. And every time we add a new badge, we'll just simply add another number there. For the badge description, we're gonna say something like awarded for completing your first challenge. And let's copy that down the row and just change first to fifth and first to tenth. And I already have some images for these in a different app. I'm just gonna copy those. Boom. All right. And the badge image looks like this. Um, you can create this using Google Drawings or Credly or Open Badges. Uh, there's several websites. If you just Google search create digital badge, um, you'll get a lot of generators online that you can create your own badges for. All right, and then let's go ahead and create the tab in which this is going to live. So I'm gonna go over here to my app, give it a reload and then go to the tab section and create a new tab called badges. Badges. There we go, look, it's already filled it in. How beautiful is that? All right, so award. Uh, let's see, what looks like a badge? That one's fine. Fine for now. Okay. Don't wanna get hung up on the details. All right, badges we can put down over here in our menu because it's not one of our main columns. All right, so now they can visit badges and they can see a description of the badge, right? And let's edit this so we can see the full image here. So we're gonna go to image, badge image. That looks good. And then it's got the name of the badge as part of my image, but if you didn't have that, you can create a title here, like the text, just like we did with our rank. Let's click the badge name, center it, do a header one, like that. Give make it all caps, like so. But it's kind of redundant because it's already in my image, but just so you see what it looks like. Okay, and then eventually also underneath here, we're gonna put down uh, who has earned this badge momentarily here. All right, so first badge, second badge, third badge, and we don't want the badge number as the title, we want the badge name, like that. Cool. Now I'll have a list of all of our badges. That looks good. That was easy, right? Now the hard part is awarding the badges. Now up until now, we've done all of our calculations and relations and lookups and things within Glide because we get that instant calculation. However, I have found that to have the best experience in terms of awarding badges automatically, um, we're going to actually create some spreadsheet magic here. So let's go over to our spreadsheet and we're going to spend some time here. We're going to go to our users column 
And you see this is the only information that we have so far. And we're going to add in our badges going across like so. And then when users earn the badge, then there'll be a tick mark in here. And we're going to check to see if they've earned this badge. Um, then uh, we'll have it display in their profile. And so because we're displaying it in the profile, we want to work in their profile sheet. Now, uh, we also want to use some magic here that Glide recognizes in Google Sheets, and it's called an array column. So an array column in Glide is when you create several columns in a Google Sheet, and you name them all of the same title, or the same column header, but you increment them by one. So for example, item space one, item space two, item space three, and so forth. In the Google Sheet, it, they're each their own column, but in Glide, it condenses them to one column. And we're going to do this with our badges. So that was the reason why we have our badge number set up like so, because we want to create an array column of our badges. Now we could just type it out like badge one, and then come over here and you know just copy it over. So we now have our column headers. And now we need to fill it in with the name of the badge that they're earning. Okay. So if this user has earned the first challenge, meaning they've completed the first challenge, then we want this to show up as the name of the badge, which is first challenge, like that. Now we don't want to have to type this in every single time a user completes a challenge, right? because that'll get overwhelming. Uh, we could have 100 users in here and we might have 100 challenges. So having to deal with all of that would be ridiculous. We want to automate this process. And so here we're going to use some spreadsheet formulas to have our spreadsheet automatically type in this information when they've satisfied that condition. So here in badge one, we want to check uh, if they've completed one challenge. Well, we have our challenge log here, so we can tell by the email address and we can get a count of how many times this email address appears in the challenge log. So we're going to look for the email address, and if so, we're going to count that value as one. So this would be this would satisfy as one and this would satisfy as two. So what does that spreadsheet formula look like? So we're going to lean heavily on a count if formula. So we're going to do equals count if. This is going to count across a range. And so our range is going to be the challenge log. So I'm going to select challenge log here. And we're looking for how many times the email address appears. Right? So we're going to do uh, this like so. And we're matching the challenge log criteria. Right? This is the information that we're counting. And the criteria is if it matches the email address of the user profile. So I'm going to hit comma. And our email addresses are located in our user sheet in column A for our email addresses. And we're going to do the entire range, A2 to A, like so. And just if we were to do just that much, this is what we would get. Okay. So we see that there, um, I have completed two challenges. Now what about Jim? Jim's completed challenges too. So we need to make this an array column, sorry, an array formula. An array formula will copy this formula down as many, um, as many rows as you've set. So if I type the words array formula in front, like so, okay. And hit enter. Okay, now you see that it applies to not only this first row where the formula is, but every other row in this column. So that's the magic of an array formula is automation. So we see that um, I have satisfied this condition and Jim has satisfied this condition because we both have completed challenges. But we want to specify for this badge the first one, right? So as long as this number is greater than zero, then they've satisfied this condition, right? So we're gonna we need to do an if. So if this count if, right, is uh, greater than zero, 
then, and here's what we want to put in the name of the badge. And I'll show you why in just a minute. All right, so um, the name of the badge was first challenge, like so. Okay, and if they, if it doesn't equal zero, or it's not, sorry, if it's not greater than zero, then we put it, want to put nothing, like so, just a null character. All right, so because both of us had a number that was greater than zero, we both get the first challenge badge. Okay, um, here I'm gonna add one row. Okay. And I'm gonna come up with another email address here. How about bob at email.com? Okay, Bob has not yet completed any challenges, so you see that it does not satisfy the condition for badge one for Bob, and he does not receive first challenge here. All right. Um, now, we also want to make sure that this formula applies to only um, to only rows that have an email address. So before all of this, we're going to say if a2 to a does not equal a space, or it's not, sorry, it's not equal null, meaning is there something in column A, then we're gonna make this formula happen, okay? Otherwise, we're gonna have, again, null, like so. Okay, and that's it. So we're just counting challenges for these specific badges. And so you can see that we can replicate this formula for our badge two and our badge three. Now, it's also best practice whenever you're using array formulas to really uh, place them in your header. And the reason being is because let's say Robert Petito here doesn't want to be part of your app anymore and we delete this row, right? Well, the formula which awards badges is in that row and we would delete our formula then. So we want to tuck this formula away someplace safe and you can do that in the header itself by creating what's called an array literal. So what we're going to do is we're going to specify both of these cells in this one. And here's how you do that. I'm going to go ahead and copy my formula here. Okay. I'm going to come over here to this um, header and I actually need to get rid of my transposition because it doesn't work with this easily anyway. And we're gonna make things easy, easy here. So we're just gonna do just one badge at a time. So we're gonna say equals, and then we're gonna do an, an open curly bracket. This is creating our array literal. The first part of this is gonna be the first cell, and the second part is gonna be the cell directly underneath it. And so we want the word badge one, and it's got to match exactly what our badge numbering system is in badges. Okay, badge one, and that's the first cell, G1. And in G2, we separate that by a semicolon. So every time we do a semicolon, it counts the next row. If I were to have done a comma here, then this is actually specifying H1, but we want G2. So we do a semicolon, and here we're going to paste in our formula, like so. And then we're gonna close our array literal with a closed curly bracket and hit return. And you see we get this reference error because um, it would overwrite data in G2, which we already have a formula here. So all we have to do is delete the information from G2. <clears throat> and we see that now our formula is tucked safe away in our header. All right, let's do this for badge two and badge three. I'm just gonna copy them over like so. I can't really do that, can I? Because I didn't. I have bad formula habits here. I didn't put dollar signs in front of mine. So I just have to do a copy. So I'm gonna select it all and copy. I'm gonna come over here to H1 and paste. Change badge one to badge two. Change first challenge to fifth challenge. And they will have this awarded when they have reached five. So we could say greater than four, or we could say greater than or equal to five would be the fifth challenge. Okay, and same thing for badge number three. So badge three will be, um, if it's greater than or equal to 10, they will get the 10th challenge. 
like so. All right, so fifth challenge, 10th challenge. Just make sure that's spelled the same way. Fifth challenge, 10th challenge, first challenge. Awesome. All right, so let's just simulate that. Let's pretend that I've done five challenges. I'm gonna come over here to the challenges section, sorry, the challenge log, and I'm gonna add five more rows, and I'm gonna take row three here and paste it into row five. Six, seven, okay. That gives me one, two, three, four, five challenges. And so if I come over back over here to the user sheet, hopefully my count if works and I see fifth challenge in badge two. Hey, look at that. It's there. Hooray for spreadsheet formulas. All right, so this is a way where you can do some automation based on counting of things, right? Counting how many challenges or counting how many items they bought or counting how many comments they've made or things of that nature. Uh, use an array formula along with a count if and make sure that it is counting the email addresses of one sheet and comparing it to the email address of your user profile sheet. All right, so this is what it looks like in the spreadsheet. But again, this badge one, badge two, and badge three in Glide is gonna condense it all into one array column. And it looks like this. I'm gonna go over here to my data editor. Actually, I'm gonna give him a reload here first. Okay, and I'm gonna now go to my data editor and we'll see if I scroll over here. Okay, that I now have a badge column here. And you see that because it's an array column, it what it does is it merges anything as part of this array, it merges them into the one cell, like so. So I see first and fifth in the same cell, all right? And what's nice about this is that we can do a relation with this to, to uh, back to our badges. So I'm gonna relate this array column to the uh, number of rows here in our badges. So we see, and we're gonna do it to the name, right? First, fifth, and 10th, right? I could have also have done, instead of doing uh, the name of the badge, I could have done badge one, badge, you know, I could have done, uh, you know, badge one, badge one, or badge two here, but having the actual name of the badge gives me some context as to what badge one is. Okay. So in our users, sheet we are going to create a relationship to the badges and it's a relation where the badge uh, array columns so not badge one two or three but the badge array column it's going to match the values in badges badge name and we're going to match multiple like so and now you see I have this nice relation of the badges that I've earned. And because of that, if we needed to, we could pull in some information using lookups, but for our purposes, we're only going to um, you show them as an inline list. All right, so if I come back to the layout view, I wanna have a section in my user profile where I can see which badges I've earned, right? So I'm gonna add a new component in my user profile section come down to the bottom and add an inline list. And this inline list is going to be the relationship of badges. And look at that, we now have our badge list. All right, let's give this something pretty. You can say something like earned badges or badges you've earned or something like that. Again, we have no margin there. Let's add one in, let's do a rich text, make it null and add it above our inline list. Can even have a separator in there too. Let's do both like that. Okay, and here we want uh, let's configure our inline list. So we have the title being our badge name. We have our image being the badge image, like so, and um, we could maybe set this as tiles. Ooh, I know, let's do tiles and let's do um, four to a row like this. So we can see our badges going across, right? And we need to make sure that our images are square so it shows the full image. And our, uh, 
our title's getting cut off, so we need to adjust that. We can do small text size and maybe allow wrapping like that. If we want to make this even smaller, we could put this title in the details instead like that, but it didn't make much of a difference. It's still on two different rows. So we can do something like that. Um, if we do circles, I think it'll center it for us too. Maybe we'll do circles like that. So at least it centers it for us. Yeah, it kind of cut off our ribbon of our badge. So pick which one you like. If you want to see the full badge, okay, this is fine, I guess, right? Um, or you can do no, t no name like that and just show the badge itself because then when they click on it, they can see what the badge is called. Let's do that and save ourselves some space here. So look at that. We now can see the badges that I've earned, right? And if I click on this, we can now create another relation so we can see um, the users that have earned this badge. So I just created a new separator under here and we have to go back to our badges sheet and create a relation to users. And here we're going to do the reverse. So we're going to do a relation from the badge name matches the values in users. And then again, that array column badge, like so. And we want to match multiple because more than one person can earn badge one. All right. And there you see the users that have earned it. And so now if I add an inline list, there's the users. And I can say something like, you know, users that have earned this badge. And again, let's add some text. There's some spacer in there, which text, nothing. Put it below our separator. Okay. And let's make this look like all of the other spots in our app where we are displaying users by making it tiles view, changing it to circle, four across, there's the name, and the details can be the rank. I think that's what we were doing, right? And this should again link out to their public profile, like so. Very cool. And we haven't really configured this yet. In our public profile, we can add some more inline lists. If we want to show the badges here too and their ranks and that kind of thing. Um, maybe we'll populate this towards the end of our app here. But look at that, we've created some badging. All right, the last part of this video is I also want to create some leaderboards. So now that we have some users who are earning experience points and we have guilds and this kind of thing, let's go ahead and uh, create a leaderboard for our users as well. And to do that, all we need to is the Users tab again. We don't need to create another sheet for this. So I'm going to go to Tabs, create a new tab. We'll call it Leaderboard. And here it's going to be the Users, uh, users Sheet. And for this, we are going to use the, I think I saw Leaderboards and we searched for Rank before we did. Yeah, this one here. So I searched for Rank, probably searched for Leader. Ranking star top. Let's look at the nice little leaderboard logo. And this can be one of our main tabs here, which people want to check their status of the leaderboard. Okay, and so we see our list of users. And we only want to show users that have profiles, right? So leaderboard, features, visibility. Um, only show when has profile is true. Okay. And we only want to show the users that have profiles. So we have to filter this list by um, has profile is true as well. Now, do we want to play around with the layout? Possibly. Maybe we want our top person nice and large, and maybe like two underneath it, semi large, and then everybody else underneath. We can do that. Uh, but to do that, we need to have a details view. So we'll do details view. And again, we're going to scrap everything. Oh, there needs to be a delete all. There isn't, but we need to have one. All right. And 
first we need to determine who is the leader. Well, the leader is going to have the person who has the most points. So how can we determine who has the most points? By doing a rollup. So we are going to go to our data editor here, and in our users tab, our user sheet, we are going to add a column of rollup, and we're going to call this um, most XP or leader XP. You could do that too. Uh, XP leader, fine, a rollup. And we're going to summarize the values of the users um, and then total XP, that's our math column here, by calculating the maximum, like so. So 125 is the max. And it is possible that more than one person maybe shares that max, but I think it's only going to pick the first person on the list. All right, and then we are going to determine who this is, right, by doing an if then. So if, we'll call this determine XP leader. All right, so we'll say if this XP leader, right, this is the amount of points that's max, equals then the math column then true and we don't even need anything else besides that so we could have an xp leader if you want to have a gold leader you can do the same thing right for um for gold i'm just going to keep it simple Let's do xp for now all right and then we can come back over here and display our top leader um, using an inline list so we could do an inline list and we can maybe make them nice and large tiles and we'll make it a circle or a square. Let's overlay it anyway like that and we can put it in the bottom left. All right, now I just realized I was doing this under the relationship to self. We don't want that. We want the users like that. So we have all of our users here. All right. Um, but we only want where if they are the leader. So we're going to features and then filter. And we're going to filter to where determine XP leader is true, like so. All right, so only the, the leader will be on top here. All right, underneath, let's create a section for uh, maybe users two, three, four, and five. So we can have the top five kind of in here, right? So to do that, all we need is another inline list. And we are going to make it, so we need four across, like so. One, two, three, and four. Um, this one, we won't have an overlay. Maybe we'll make it the same like circle thing that we're doing before. And we don't want to display person two, right? We, want to we only want to show four items at a time here. Okay, so we're only showing four items. So it'll give us one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna come over here to features and we don't want the leader. So we are going to filter where XP leader is not true. So this will give us the next four people in our leaderboard. So I just added in a few users here, actually they're my daughters. And just for display purposes, you can see here now that um, this is ranked from the highest, then the next highest and so forth. And just to verify that it does, uh, in our inline list, we need to sort. So we'll do features, and we're gonna sort this inline list by experience points, total XP, from the highest to the lowest. So we need to do from Z to A, and here we can see the user and so forth, right? Now, if we want to add, maybe instead of the rank that they're at, maybe we want to show exactly their experience point so we can, they can see how far off they are from one another. Yeah, that may be better. We can change the rank to total XP, right? And then same thing here. Or maybe we can change just the tag of their total XP. So it shows it up here maybe. Or, this could, or maybe this is what says leader, right? And we have the XP down here. We can play around with it. We show the next top five, right? 
And since these are circles, let's make this circle too. So we're gonna get rid of that tag, I guess. So inline users, we'll make this a circle so everything matches. That looks better, I think. And instead of bronze, we can put their experience points. Total XP, like so. Yeah, because with the circle uh, tile shape, we don't get the ability to put in captions and tags and things. So is what it is. But at least now we have our leader, and then we have our next top four. And then for everybody else, you can click on see all, and then you get a list of everybody, right? Now this everybody is everybody but the leader, but it is what it is. That's good enough. Right, and then again, if you click on any of these, then you just get their public profile. Okay. So this is for the, um, for the user. Now we can also get the leader of the guilds as well. So right now our guilds are just a list like this, but maybe we wanna show this in order of experience points earned by the members of those guilds, right? So for lions, we have two people here, dragons, we have two people, unicorns, we have two people, and I think wolves only has one at the moment, that's okay. Uh, so we can do the same thing here. Now we have to grab the experience points totaled for each guild, and we can do that. We're gonna go to the data column here, Using data column, data editor, we're gonna to go to the guilds and we already have a relationship to the members. So now we just have to add a rollup. So we'll do a rollup and we'll call this uh, XP. And we're gonna summarize the values of that relation, total XP, by calculating the sum. And this is getting a sum of all the experience points from the users of the guild. As we see right now, that dragons is in the lead with 125. So again, we can do the same thing where we're gonna do a roll up to determine max or highest XP, summarizing the values of the guild's XP roll up by calculating the maximum. So the maximum is 125. And now we just do that if then, determine leader. And it'll be an if then. So if the rollup of our highest XP equals the XP that they have earned, then true, else nothing. So we can see that because these are equal, it's satisfying that if condition and showing us that the dragons is in the lead, they're determining the leader. And so now we can create the same layout here like we did with our leaderboard. So we're gonna go to details view instead, trash all these things. We're gonna add in a inline list. And this inline list is going to be of the guilds. Get rid of the title here. And we're only gonna show where the leader is true. So we're gonna filter where the determined leader is true. So dragons is in the lead, and there you go. And we'll make everything match here again. So we'll do a tiles layout, circle. We have the name of the guild there. We got a larger text. And the details can be how many points they've earned. Experience points, like so. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing here for the other guilds. So we're going to add a second inline list. And here we're going to do features where leader is not true to get everybody else. Okay. And we want to space them out underneath dragons. Now we only have four guilds, so I only need to go three across like that. If you have five guilds, then you would need to do four across. And then if you have some like seven guilds or something weird, then uh, you might want to pick it maybe, maybe, maybe doing list then at that point, but uh, mine fits pretty well here under the uh, circle for three in a row. And then we want to make sure this is sorted. Now it, it is just coincidentally here, but we want to make sure that it actually is sorted by XP from highest to lowest. 
And now we have our guilds, our guild members, and we can see um, our leaderboard here for our guilds as well, which is kind of neat. And maybe instead of the green like you see here for the title, maybe we're, you know, that's kind of a weird thing to put there. Maybe we're putting our XP points now, like so. Look at that. That looks pretty. All right, so we have leaderboards for the users. The guilds now have leaderboards. And users can now earn badges and have their badges displayed on their profile. Neat. All right, so chapter four of Gamify Your Glide App is in the book. Stay tuned for episode five coming at you soon. Thanks for watching.